Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Neo 2. I am the mysterious JG. Um, thinking, thinking, thinking. I might want to hit the shrine while I'm here just because I've got those uh, soul cores. And to tell you the truth, I don't even know what kind of soul cores they are. Because uh, one of them from, like, I had never gotten a soul core before from fighting one of those enemies that is summoned uh, from a grave. So, even though I said I wasn't going to, and maybe the smarter path would have been to not do it, I'm really curious what that one is. So, they don't seem to be sorted by, let's see, sort by level, attunement cost, newest. That's what I want. So, the one I just got is a Mizuki Soul Core? That doesn't make sense. Oh, it's the least... It was a Gaki Soul Core? That doesn't make sense. This one I just got. And I know I got a couple of Gakis over the course of the video. And I got a, Yan, a Yamanba, which are the old hag ones. So I just randomly got a Gaki Soul Core for beating that guy, even though he wasn't a Gaki. Okay. Well. I guess I'm kind of annoyed that I wasted the... Now all these enemies have respawned, but... The ones that are in that area there will actually, you know, you know what? No, nothing will have respawned, or very few enemies will have respawned, because the ones that you get out of one of those, uh, those ones will stay gone. The ones from the dark zone. Okay, I thought that might... She might get knocked out of that attack in time. I actually was evading too frantically there. Ah, damn it. I guess it's a good thing I hit that uh, shrine after all. I mean, I would have been a little bit more willing to use an elixir there if I knew I wasn't right next to a shrine, but I knew I was right next to a shrine. And there she is, the same exact one who just got me. I was evading. And I was evading there too. Game just does not give a fuck when I hit the evade button. Oh, I'm in the wrong stance. I'm just getting some interesting dodges there, but not the techniques I was trying for. There we go. This is more like it. And she even dropped an elixir, which made the whole thing kind of work out. All right. Just ran right over here and grabbed this loot. There could have been all sorts of nasty stuff guarding it. Waiting to jump down from the ceiling or hiding behind these little wood screens. I've gotten just really careless, I guess. <laughs> this is weird. We actually started at the castle where I would assume Nohime's personal treasures would have been kept. We actually found her room in the uh, palace after all. But the we've actually been working our way towards the um, <clears throat> working our way towards the mines. Oh, you know what? There's something we didn't do. We need to go back. There's a there were treasure chests that we didn't get in that dark zone, yokai zone, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, there's a couple of treasure chests that we need to hit here. And I kind of want to follow that path. Like I'm pretty sure now seems pretty apparent that the path of this level is to go into the caverns. So I really feel like we should go explore this alternate path that we tried to explore before and got knocked off the the edge. Wait, who's attacking me now? Oh, fuck you. I guess you're not technically part of the yokai zone because you were above it, so you respawned. And none of these other guys will. Uh, 
Okay. I don't know if you're not part of the yoke. Oh, or if it's not that he's not part of the yokai zone, it's that I didn't actually kill him last time. So he doesn't just die from the yokai zone being extinguished. But any enemies that you kill that were in this area won't respawn the way other enemies will. My item box is full. Ah, crap. I did not um, realize that was going to be an issue. Yeah. I forgot. I had, uh, I think at the end of the last video, I was talking about how well off screen I'm going to go through and do inventory management, and I obviously forgot to do it. So, um. It looks like I've already gotten rid of uh, all the, the white text items. Most of them, anyway. The Wappets. Soul cores don't take up inventory space, as far as I know. Um, I could be wrong about that, though. I could be wrong about that. Ah, oh, that's probably enough. We'll do more of that if we need to. Mabushi sandals with purple text, so you know they're good. Now those weird, like, floating robe guys, they appear to be, like, unique, at least at this point. Probably in later levels they'll respawn like anything else. But, um, it's kind of annoying. In, in, in a sense, it's annoying because if I decide that I want to go after the, uh, the points that you get for killing a bunch of them, um... I have to, like, keep replaying levels. I thought I had evaded that, but okay. Finally, the evade actually worked on that attack. Seems like it was never working before. And then you hear the sound of someone going, Ah! Only got a few shots of this. But I can replenish them later. And it should one hit stuff. Can I please focus on him? Thank you, game. Unfortunately, these guys are pain in the butt to fight on the um, on these bridges because normally you can just evade their attacks, but you try too much of that here. Poison may not quite finish him, but that will. Gradually reaching the point where I've got too much inventory again. Okay, so I don't know which of these paths to follow to get to... Um... Oh, there's the guy that I was looking for before. 
So yeah, I can see how if I was replaying this mission, I would definitely want to take him out before I came to... Where? Oh, you're up there somewhere. I would definitely want to take that guy out before I mess with the rest of the... Before I came and tried to clear Yokai Zone. As a matter of fact, you could take him out, then climb down that ladder and get straight to the boss of the area without having to deal with uh, the rest of it. Oh, you're here. Okay. Yeah, I can. Well, unless you can figure out how to climb stairs, I really don't think I need to bother with you. All right. Now let's go back to and collect some stuff. From these guys. I'll need to buy some camo, cannon ammo at some point. Are you going to come far enough to notice me? I was really hoping you wouldn't. I hate this enemy type. The Raven Tengus are like my least favorite enemy in the game. And I'm not equipped for him right now. So I'm going to go full bore because why not? You got the items. You might as well use them. That's what they're there for. I'm not clear on whether he gets to fly over here. It doesn't look like he does. But he did make me waste all of that, so that was nice. Well, I think that killed him. Yeah, I got Amrita for it. No items, because obviously any items he dropped would have been down below. But I got Amrita for it, so he get, he did. Too bad he couldn't fly, because if he could, falling off that cliff would have been a big deal for him. Yeah, because he can fly. It's not... That really shouldn't have worked, is what I'm getting at. Well. So, I mean, I could be in for a big surprise here, and this is the end of the level, but I feel like this is just the end of an optional... Pa like, I hope there's something cool here to reward you for going to the trouble. Well, there's a chest. This might have something like like a samurai lock or something on the first uh, attempt. My item box is full. Nothing in there that it looks like you can just pick up. Okay, let's... First of all, let's walk away from here before I start dropping stuff so that I don't have to figure out how to work with all the stuff I dropped. Crescent Moon Kasari Gamma does not seem like it's likely to be super special. Golden Shashi Helmet seems like it might be something of interest. Possibly even part of a set or something. No. Nope. nope. It's obviously got more defense than a headband, but it's not... Yeah. Well. Well. Now that my voice is changing... No, sorry. Well. Um, I would think if I were replaying this level, which I don't see any particular reason I would, um, I would want to come here, like here, kill the uh, banjo player guy. <laughs> to make uh, dealing with this demon zone way easier. Then you could... Um, I really should have done my inventory management before I got here. Consarn it. The new heavyweight axe. Um, yeah, but dealt with that guy, and then... Um, Then completely love. Sounds like uh, that guy's still down there that I knocked off the edge. He's still down there trying to figure out how to get revenge. You know, it looks like maybe he actually made it back up. He he did. Okay, so he probably... I don't think they're allowed to climb ladders, so he probably... He found some kind of path up here. 
probably went the long way around the level. But anyway. I don't know if you, my microphone picked that up, but a video has finished processing. Hence, bloom. <sighs> I don't usually do this on screen, but I don't have a whole lot of choice right now. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. Auto grave recovery plus 16 could be pretty good, actually. I'm just looking for stuff in yellow that could be worth keeping, because otherwise... Golden Boy set, but I'm pretty sure I've got better uh, gauntlets than that already. Because, you know, you never know when it's only marked in yellow, but you have an accessory that gives you something really useful. Like Auto Grave Recovery. I like to hold on to those. Eventually I need to go through them and get rid of them, because I'm not going to use them all. But just figure out which ones have the best uh, stats and keep those. All of these seem to have it. Is that a split staff that has corruption instead of um, interesting? All the um, practically all of the um, split staff seem to have um, purity as an element. All right, so what I'm going to do now is. Um, That is how many things? 104. Yikes. Might get rid of something that I wanted to keep, but probably not. It's certainly nothing that I've currently got equipped is going to go up for grabs. But uh, it should mean that uh, I still need to do inventory management later, but... Oh, and I got more stuff from... Uh, I got hand cannons and stuff. Let's see what I can buy at the bazaar. If I can replace uh, rifle ammo. Yeah, I guess I uh, already got those replaced from my stock at the of inventory in the storehouse, so I can't buy more right now. I don't have to deal with you again, though. It's annoying. He's got a long patrol route here. I actually got in enough hits to uh, get the status thing on her that I wanted before she could do much about it. It was an unusually successful fight against one of the snake ladies for me in this game. Alright. Oh, another yokai zone to deal with? Or No, this is the end. Okay, uh, I feel like we're probably at the end of the level now. Because that looks like it's a thing that I can't go beyond, and that path behind me is about to seal. I'm guessing. I don't know that. That seems to be what's up. Let's take all the appropriate precautions. Well, I'm definitely trapped in the room. It's not... It's not going to be one of those... There is a single yellow boss. It is a... Just gauntlet of enemies kind of deal. Damn. I almost applied thunder and then realized that I'm probably best off sticking with security. Okay, who's next? 
You next, huh? Yeah, spamming a uh, split staff like a fiend is my favorite approach anymore, as you've probably already noticed. I'm sure something big and nasty will be here before this is over. It's been a gauntlet of fairly straightforward enemies so far. Ooh, crap. Oh, damn it! Kind of surprised that I let him get that hit on me there. Usually a little better than that. Yeah, I'm not fighting against this guy well at all. Okay, you are the big bad here, huh? See what I can afflict on you. Yeah, he doesn't have a really good counter once you get him cornered and he's out of... This is Master Dose. Oh. There's a female guardian of the princess there. So she turned all yokai-ish and uh, was trying to keep me away. But it appears that uh, she thought she was doing so on behalf of the, of the princess. So, she, you know. And that was actually a female samurai. I did not realize that as I was fighting. Or possibly one of Nohime's attendants who has manifested herself as a samurai after uh, death. And by samurai, I mean she gave herself the armor, you know. Oh, butterflies. Oh, maybe I'll get uh, the butterfly spirit here. Yep, that's pretty much her whole deal. And he is a fool, but he's a fool for love. Yeah, you're clearly a very warm person now. We'd have to destroy the knife. Hold on to it just in case. To become butterfly, ice princess, monster in the next previous game. Some of those dreams are pretty messed up. Just saying. Might have you doing some weird stuff. So we've been possessed by Yu Yu Hakusho, or rather, Usura Hicho via Spirit Division. Okay, so that was definitely a side mission worth doing. It gave us a, uh, a new Spirit Warrior buddy. Which we will probably never use, because the one I've got is increasing my chance of grave recovery, which is just makes this game a whole lot stressful than the original Neo tended to be. Sirsha, find your way back to you on her own. I remember when I handed this dagger back to my father, unable to do with it what he'd asked of me. How strange that I should hold it in my hands once again. I am indebted to you, and wish to give you my switch glaive as a token of my gratitude. But you're out of inventory space. If you deem Lord Nobunaga as worthy of your loyalty, then take this weapon and let it serve you well in your duties. But should you think him a fool, well, in that case, use it to... Nope. That's enough. Please ignore my childish jeeps. <laughs> Sorry, just throwing in my dad's catchphrase for fun. The soul cores are purified and can now be attuned. I have a ridiculous number of those gacky soul cores at this point. Well, there you are. Um, we're out of things we need to do in this zone. But certainly I've got a lot of inventory management I need to do. And I've also got a new friendly uh, turtle who I'm keeping... Because he's not just like a... A spirit floating around 
ethereal. No, this is an actual monster that is hanging around in my house. <laughs> Which I can remodel with. I can turn him into butterflies. But generally, I just prefer, like... Because these are, like, these are ethereal. These are spiritual things that don't really... This is like, yeah, there's a freaking Kappa lives in your house. <laughs> Presumably, he's, like, but buttles for you, you know? You can ask him, like... He's like, hey, man, I'm letting you stay here rent-free. Give me a sandwich or something <laughs> just, while I'm sitting down here. And view illustrations, guardian spirit list. Oh, character directory. So we probably learned more about Nohime, I'm guessing. KG, there's only one more block of stuff to learn about him. It's it's weird. They they introduce him. He's just completely different from his depiction in Samurai Warriors, where he's like crazy, bold warrior man. And this game is like, I'm afraid. Um, oh, these are the guys who just showed up as a boss, bosses to help you fight. Again. Yeah, she doesn't get any kind of story, huh? I guess she's just sort of a plot function, or a uh, in-game thing. Now this guy, I know Lethal's not watching this series, but this guy he's got an eye patch over the wrong eye, but that little thin mustache yeah, he looks kind of like uh, oh man, I can't remember his name, Mizawa? The guy who's always like, hey, kill you. <laughs> I'm blanking on his name, oh wow. But yeah, he looks like a guy from uh, the um, The Yakuza game, the Lethal Feline. Uh, the Yakuza games are several of them that Lethal Feline plays over on his streams. Oh, here we go. So we got more information on Princess No. And uh, yeah, I'm surprised. We're only going to get three pieces of data on her. It seemed like she would become an important character once you know she's your half sister, but apparently not. Uh, before her marriage to Nobunaga, Princess No was told by her father, Dosan, if Nobunaga really is as big a fool as they say, stab him. However, upon meeting Nobunaga and observing his remarkable resolve for herself, she decided that she would walk with her husband to the ends of the earth. So, that's what we're getting on her. And that's probably the only person that we have new info on, I'm guessing. But Guardian Spiller, Spiller illustration, we can now look at Usura Hicho. The striking Guardian Spirit is as cold as it is beautiful. Its followers swear that venerating it will protect you from ice and snow related disasters. Others believe that Usura Hicho is a manifestation of the souls of people who have lost their lives to grief or cold. Go full screen with this. Alright, so let's get to the shrine. Let's see what this new guardian spirit would do for us if we were interested. It gives us life recovery, 100. At purification, that's actually pretty handy. It's going to take a lot to convince me not to go with the auto grave recovery, but frankly, it's 25%. I've got enough items that I could probably afford to give it up. But like these aren't really doing anything that, you know, plus 5% soul drop rate is not bad at all if you're hunting off screen. Toughness plus 20. Oh, you can have primary and secondary, but I don't think we've unlocked that yet. I'm trying to figure out what this little like little fox uh, icon refers to, and it's probably the the skill that carries over if you make it your secondary guardian spirit. So, anyway, it gives us life recovery from purification, which is handy. Let's see. Uh, anima bonus, whatever life recovery. Recover health when you perform purification. That's pretty good. 100's not a ton, but it's something. Reduces key consume when dodging. That's good. Water damage? Nah. I'm not using water. Increased key damage caused by active skills. So again, none of those are bad, but... You, I'm getting what? Increased... Uh, grant specific bonus when you absorb Amrita. Increased attack. Nah. Auto grave recovery imbue purity. Adds the purity element to your strong attacks. Although I'm not really using a strong attack, I'm using a quick attack, but it's with something that gives me purity. Shows the location of nearby Amrit on the compass. Auto grave recovery is by far the most important of those. So yeah, we're gonna stick with the spirit animal that we already got. 
Oh, no, we do get to do secondary guardian spirit already, huh? So you get C plus life drain. I wonder. So if we took if we took this thing off of auto grave recovery, how good would our auto grave recovery be? It's if we switch to this as our primary. And then we had Masaru, we'd have 12.5% auto grave recovery. Okay. So we could do our secondary. I, th I don't think I was paying any attention at all to secondary. I don't. I kind of didn't notice when it got added. You get life recovery of fifty with every perfect purification. I am starting to think that what we could do. Let me see. How many hit points have we actually got? Our light. We have two thousand two hundred ninety-eight hit points. So, plus 100 every time we do purification isn't that much. That being said, she also has dodge key consumption and active skill damage. You're giving us a little bit of life, tenacity... Strong attack, key damage, imbue poison, yokai abilities. I think I might want to. Get rid of those two. Assign them instead. Oh, well, now it's going to be hard to find them again. Crap. Auto grave recovery 10.5. There was an Anki, I think. Maybe it wasn't an Anki. I really should figure this out off screen, but. Auto grave recovery 11. I'm just looking for good auto grave recovery ones. Because what I'll do is I'll make Monkey our secondary spirit. So we'll only get a 12.5 instead of a 25% boost. But uh, we still should have well over 50-50 chance of getting our, uh, our corpse back every time. We had a, uh, I don't remember exactly what, I don't know if Enki was what we had, but the other one was, um, Indestructible Shell. Hmm. We definitely had, um, one of these guys, auto grave recovery plus 15. Now I go back to my equipment. I know we had um, 18.3 and 17. I don't think we have very many that are higher than that. So what I'm interested in now is to see... Our Astral Wisdom's gone up. I might have some new skills I can get. Auto... It was, I thought I saw auto... Life recovery, never mind. Auto grave recovery, 77.8%. So we took it down. Like, oof. We took it down. But it's giving us some other stuff instead. I think we'll try this for a while. And if I find that it's really... We're losing our grave a lot, I can switch it back. Because we're at 77 point something. If we added another 12, we'd be pretty close to 90%. 
So maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have left Monkey as our primary. But I kind of want to see what the Butterfly special attacks are eventually. At any rate, uh, this video has gone over, so uh, I need to do some inventory management. When we come back, we're going to be progressing the main story because we're kind of out of uh, side stuff to do around here. Won't that be fun? See you guys next time.